take a chance on this. And see if I get it. Oil controls and price controls were the cause of abandoning work that produced products. Oil price is down to benefit Saudi economic warfare. All the world now is that economic warfare and you're gonna suffer. You're gonna suffer from economic warfare. <laughs> I have to overcome my critic who said I spoke drivel, but sometimes it's living, you know. So the question now is, is uh, about the Clinton Foundation. How and who has the Clinton Foundation helped? What people has it helped, and why is this not somehow an attribute of the Clintons and their campaign to be in the White House again? And I see, like, Bill Clinton looking out the window, you know. I got no light on me, probably. The backlight always confuses this thing, but I'm sorry I forgot to pull it curtain. I'll pull the curtain in a second. But why don't the Clintons talk about how great the Clinton campaign, you know, why don't they say how much good they do? And what is Bernie going to do with his money uh, strategically, which I'm saying they ought to hire 700 minders. This uh, enlarger I got is such a wreck, I don't know if it's worth fixing. State ownership, unfettered spending, subsidies, and domestic price control were the wreckage uh, causes for uh, Venezuela which didn't operate according to best practices, got out of balance. Borrowing money, borrowing money means foreign debt. They can't service, so slash the imports so the people don't have stuff because the government makes all the buying decisions. <laughs> Even flour, oranges, whatever. I mean, come on. That idea, all these bad ideas, bad management practices, the system's gone wild like this one. Huh. Number one in net income of peers, well, it, it's, it's the one, it's number one for treasury securities. And you got to ask yourself now, uh, the, and, and you got to ask yourself now, the news is that, uh, well, they have bank holding companies, Morgan Stanley, that's what they are. Morgan Stanley was more trusted. Apple bonds, Twitter bonds, underwritten, online bank comes around. And check this out. This is the big deal. This is a big They patented a currency. They patented SETZ, SETL coin. Well, I never even thought of that. Patenting, patenting, patenting. Well, the Treasury is supposed to do that. So, this is a conflict of interest right there, it looks like to me. But whose money they want? Of course, the banks now and the corporations don't want the government treasuries to control the money because one day the spigot might get cut off. So, they're going to make a competitive money. That's why all the a hedge fund guys we were reading about were out there looking for the guys started Bitcoin hull trading. And then they have all the CSI series. <laughs> they own that. 
<laughs> Goldman Sachs on the CSI TV series you watch all the time to get propagandized one way or another about oh the American way of justice, you know, sex crimes and what. So that was where my note took me because I wrote that down. And I said something about it. And I said something about this. <laughs> They don't know. That's what Jesus said. Forgive them. They know not what they're doing. They do, but, well, then they did. That's what they did. They knew that they were going to get caught, and they had a whole plan to defend themselves and get more out of it. I mean, these are smart guys. Like, uh, the future is a slow crash, but they're going to benefit and go to New Zealand, where they're going to live happily ever after, because they're multinationals, no? And they, no, the whole world is, you know, their oyster, and they can go anywhere and they want. But, but fuck their families or whatever nations. That's <laughs> where they leave behind. That's a new town, right? You know. Debt, slavery, or revolt are the choices that they give us, you know, Chris Hedges rightly says. And read the charts. The charts. That's what Michael Hudson was talking about. And I see War of China coming. The way they're setting it up, like looks like before the coup, when they killed Kennedy, and the Dark Age came, and the Dark Age came, and the Dark Age came when all went to shit. <laughs> Adrian's wall, and they walked away. Privatization, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you bet. That's just another word for. We got our legal ways of stealing. Everything Hitler did was legal, you know. We're going to make it legal, all these guys. I want to call them names, you know, because last time we got his curses, you know, about Ryan and those full ideolog ideologues. And then the damn son of a bitches and the demagogue. And I'm building Transcendia right here, because you can tell I'm doing in-depth studies, and I'm not lying to you. you. Get to see me get go from inventing the insuro dollar, which I should patent uh, late on the patent here. I'm sure they patented it while I wasn't looking. And so I said too much. Oh, that was a song, Save the Wage Slaves. I'd go out with that. But I'm not going to put it on the... I'm not going to put it on the... Uh, I'm not going to put it on the uh, tripod.